Hey, we be zip tripping. We are zip tripping. We're flying over and showing you downtown Cowpens with the Mighty Moo Festival kicking off. And uh, welcome in. We're going to be here for the next hour. Jack, cool. Jamarcus, and Mr. Weatherman, Malachi <laughs> Rogers from good old Jonesville. And, How about uh, that? Yeah, we're going to have a good time today in this great little town, and it's mighty historic, isn't it? It is. What a trio, by the way. I, I, mean, I kind of like this. This is an esteemed <laughs> panel of judges. I really like it. Yes, we're here, of course, our zip trips. We're doing them all summer to different zip codes yeah, right. around the area and really showcasing the town. And today it's all about Calpians getting ready for the Mighty Moo Festival, which kicks off tonight. That's right. Uh, lots of entertainment, lots of food, and the O'Shields vendor told me to mention their naked sausage and their fried Oreos and something else with fried pickles. Well, so check out their food truck. <laughs> tell them we like samples. Yeah, we can talk can, more about it if they give us samples. Well, she, she did say, can we come over and be on TV? I said, yes. well, I'll mention you. I don't think we have time. We will make time for that. Yeah. That's for sure. Of course, um, you know, you mentioned the historic nature of, of this oh, yeah. town. Of course, yeah. you know, the mighty move was when the sailors would come back uh, and, you know, really celebrate but the town would do a whole festival for them, you know, from the USS Cowpen. Well, now, remember, too, there have been two Cowpens. The first one was 43. It was an aircraft carrier. Okay. And again, I don't know if still, but many of those uh, Navy men that serviced on that thing come back to this festival. The it's museum amazing. is behind us in the depot. Mm -hmm. and there's a lot of Navy memorabilia back there. Yep. But now, the second Cowpens was, is like a missile launcher. So there have been two of them. Maybe wow. the younger guys are still coming. Look That's it. amazing. And, and again, the history, it doesn't just start there. It goes back to the Revolutionary War. A lot of us growing up in this area, one of your first trips was to the battleground. <laughs> yeah. That, that was a school trip for everybody. Just a big part of the uh, American Revolution with and, Daniel Morgan. And, and by the way, and, have you and heard? The, and, and the train. That's <laughs> train. But we're on the right side of the tracks. We are. But you're right. I mean, oh, Cowpens and, and of course, you know, the Battle of Kings Mountain were very right. pivotal moments in the American Revolution. So, really well, cool. I mean, you see that that Daniel Morgan yeah. statue in, in downtown Spartanburg. This is why led those troops. He uh, he led the troops. Now again, uh, this was pivotal in the Revolutionary War. Bottom line is, we won the Revolutionary exactly. War, <laughs> but we did beat the British, the Redcoats, right up the street here, about 10 miles, actually, at the battlefield. Yeah. So we won the Battle of Calpins. So we're going to be yeah. learning a little bit more about that history and what the Mighty Moo Festival means to this community. Sure. I don't want to brag, but I have been the Grand Marshal of the Mighty Moo. Oh, I'm just letting you know. I've ridden the parade. I don't think I've done that. You, I've done you were magic. If you rode in the parade, you were definitely the Grand Marshal. The band has played here. It's a great town. A lot of, yeah. a lot of antique stores downtown. We're going to be talking about that, too. But uh, I want to mention and uh, big boy here having a birthday. What? Jamarcus? No. Today, Jamarcus Forget turns, what you heard. Not yeah, turns, congratulations. Turns Happy some birthday. age. Less than 40. You no, still don't tell us? Is it less than 40? It's less than 40. What are you he, trying to he, say, Jack? He never tells <laughs> us his age. He looks a little mystery there. Just a little mystery he, there. A little I like intrigue. that. He never tells us his age, but uh, we, like may, we have, may have a little surprise for you. I'm going to wait and see if my producer has some video coming up. If oh, not, video I'm going to give you your present. Oh, I get a present live you on get a TV. Present That'll live be fun. And in living color <laughs> on TV. Ready for the video? Oh, you're showing it. There we go. So tell what is this video? What am I? I don't know what it is. Should I be hearing it's it? You. Should I be? What is it? <laughs> like they don't know what I look like. Oh, oh, pictures. The pictures. Come on. Oh, the pictures of me. I'm sure people are just like, can we get out of this video right now? Well, thank you guys so much for showing pictures of me. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. I, we'll see it when we get back. Yes. But by the way, there's your yeah, there's your birthday present. There we go. And I did wrap it. Oh, it's very nice. Nice. Wrap. And uh, check it out, baby, because oh, I know what you do so on weekends. You want me to? Oh, God. What check is, it I'm out. I'm a little scared. I'm not really great at I, I this, is, this is great TV, by the way. Riveting. This morning. I'm, I'm in. I'm all the way in. Oh, okay. All right. There you go. We had him on the show a while back. Oh, awesome. It's what is a, it? a five star trails guide to all of the Very most cool. beautiful hikes in the area. In Very upstate. Nice. Upstate. You know me well. I know you. Thanks, I'm, wearing, I'm wearing your socks <laughs> that you gave me for my birthday. <laughs> it's reciprocal. You when know you're what? Part this of the is, family. You this like is what it's all about right here. I like that. That's we're great. Like Thank that. you. We're brothers at heart. You're yes. welcome. I hope you enjoy it. I that. can actually use this. I'm going to put it to use this weekend. So. I'm assuming you said you rode in it. I've been in it. I don't think I was a grand marshal, but is it tomorrow the parade? Do you know? Tomorrow morning. Yes. Okay. But uh, again, you've got to check out the depot. Is it in the background? Well, the train's in the background, but behind the, the train the is Center. the old depot. Right. And it's been years, but you go in there, and there are lots of stuff from the ship and pictures of the crew. Amazing. And again, 
But isn't it nice? In it, it's interesting. <laughs> We talk about the British and we beat them. Right. We all speak the same language <laughs> and they're our biggest allies, I guess, on earth, or one of them, right? As far as countries. I mean, the, that, that museum, I'm sure, has it's jam packed with all types of things you could ever want if you want to come here. Yeah, and there are mile markers there, everything. Yeah. The Calpin Depot, the, the placard is there as well. Yeah. The Veterans Park over so, there. Yeah. Now, taking some it's only 2,500 people here, but a famous baseball player, it's been years, you may not know the name. But he is from here. He was in the major leagues. Does it ring a bell? I thought about it coming over here. Mm. And I won't keep you in suspense any longer. <laughs> no. Gaylord Perry. Oh, that's right. He was in the major leagues. Uh, I, 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 th I want to say he was a pitcher. I'm not sure. I yes. met him. But he's from Calvin. And he, and he coached at Limestone for a while as well. I think he did. Yeah. Look at you guys dropping all that local Famous knowledge. Famous for the spitball. Okay. Possibly. Yeah. You want to yeah. go on live on TV? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> um, I think that's, I mean, that's fantastic. Yeah. One of the things, we met a guy earlier that said you're, he brought a car, his dad bought a car from your father. Yeah, he's from to, Union County. And they still yeah. have the car in their driveway here in Calvin. How about that? How crazy is Roper Chevelle? quality. I like that. Chevelle. I like that. My dad was a Chevrolet dealer, and he sold that family a 1969 uh, Chevy, Chevy Malibu. And he still has it to this day. 250,000 miles. <laughs> Can you imagine a car that old having that many miles on it? Is the warranty still good? That's the question, right? <laughs> I know, I know it's aged well, like it. me. <laughs> and my warranty has expired. I like that a lot. You I like do. that a lot. A 69 yeah. Chevelle. Can you imagine? 69. You need to go see it. I feel like it'll, all the memories will rush back. Well, it's in Aiken. Oh, uh, he's not here? The son lives here. His daddy oh, went to call. Okay. It's in Aiken. Okay. So I said, boy, I wish I had a picture, but a little, take a little time to get to Aiken and come back. Yeah, give him, send me your, your phone yeah. number. He can yeah. text it to you. You, know? you guys have a lot going on on this hour, right? A we lot do. of people coming in, a lot of we interviews. Do. We're we talking barbecue. We're yeah. talking history. We're talking uh, all types of things. We're going to be talking to a, a Navy guy that was on yeah. one, of, one of the cow pens. Uh, Ships, probably that's what the latter all about. I'm we'll talking Sean. about that. But Malachi, we really need uh, a little. What is this weekend going to look like with the weather? The, the, the weekend will look a lot better than it did yesterday and today. <laughs> Another yeah. hot day. One more hot day today. We get past today, and then we are talking 80s, low 90s. Like where it should be. Maybe? Should be this time of year. <laughs> even better in the mountains. But again, <laughs> the timing is perfect once you get past today. When do dog days start? Is it July? It's the last of July. August? Last of July. And it's like what? Not it's like, not 90 like days. Like, like the it? July. I think the officially is like July 26 through. I want to say August 8th. Okay, but it's that period of yeah. the hottest. So in other words, getting into the 80s and being cooler, it ain't gonna last. It ain't gonna last. <laughs> no, so next week we're back in the hundreds. So yeah, I saw be, your forecast. So end of next week, hundred triple digit tick. But for this festival, this weather's pretty darn good. It is. It's great out here right now. And that, we had a thunderstorm last night. Yeah. The rides are going to yeah. be going. The food is going to be served. It's going to be a, a <coughs> great time here in Calpin. So like we said, we're going to have all types of coverage of the things you can yeah. do when you come visit. Yeah. So. It is Father's Day weekend. So our uh, question of the day is, what are you giving Dad for Father's Day? Plain and simple. We might be able to read a few. We'll uh, check out Facebook. Our question is courtesy of Spinks. That's a good one. It's going to be a lot one. of fun. Yep. Malachi, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you guys For this much. thing that we call. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Happy Father's Day in advance to you. Yes. you. Happy Father's Day thank to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very Here's much. Here's another gift, your phone. It fell oh, on the floor. Thank you. It's too much to The gifts keep on coming. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to continue our live coverage here from Calpins coming up next. We're going to talk a little bit more about the Mighty Moo Festival, talk a little bit about that Revolutionary War history, give you some of the facts about the festival and why you should come and check it out.